Hello, my dear little ones. So, welcome to Reading Corner. Today we are here with another book. The name of the book is Ruby's Birds. The name of the book is Ruby's Birds. And it was written by Nia Thompson. Let's read the book. Ruby's Birds School's out. Mom and Dad are at work. My brother Malik is at soccer practice. Grandma's at her spot near the window. Alex keeps her company. Things are too quiet around here. I know what to do. I play the piano. The piece my parents say is very grown up. I practice my dance routine, the one Malik calls stomping. I talk with Alex in a secret language Grandma taught us. Alex is a bird, isn't it? I sing at the top of my lungs, the song I made up myself. My neighbor Eva from downstairs hears everything. She calls up from her window. Ruby, wanna go to the park? Yes, 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 yes! I sing. We pass my favorite bakery. We pass Sissy's apartment. We walk right past my regular park, the one with the twisty slide and the sprinklers. I guess Eva is going to a different park. I skip to keep up. Hmm. I follow her all the way to Central Park, where my parents sometimes takes us on Sundays when we are all dressed up. Eva is going to the woods. I've never been that way. We sing made up songs about joggers and strollers and fancy dogs. B this 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 Suddenly Eva stops. She looks up, she is listening. I quiet down and listen too. What's wrong? I wonder. I hear a police car, a plane, some barking. I tug on Eva's sleeve, but she is not paying attention. She holds her binoculars up to her eyes. She is frozen like a statue. And then she smiles a huge smile. She's on her binoculars. Look. Look, I think she's looking at the bird. Let's see what's it. I guess everything's okay. So I start singing again. Ruby, Eva sighs. You scared him away. Who did I scare away? I ask. Eva flops down on a bench. I sit too. It's a bird I've only ever seen back home in Costa Rica, she says. He's just stopping through on his way north because this is the best patch of woods for miles around. He's quite a singer, just like you. Okay. If you stay quiet, we may be able to find him again. He's a golden winged wobbler. I nod. I don't say a word or sing a word, word either. It sounds like something from a fairy tale. 
we move carefully, we are serious, we pay attention, we watch it for tiny moments in the leaf. We try and try. No luck today, says Eva. But now you know what to do. Mm. I sing myself to sleep as usual. On Sunday morning, I beg for a walk to Central Park. Malik's not interested, but it's family time, so he has to come now anyway. We pass the bodega, we pass the theater, I sing my song, my family listens along. That's a family. At the park, I lead them straight to the woods. I'm silent, I'm serious, I'm paying attention. I hear a rustle in the leaves. Shh, I say. Just like Eva, I'm frozen like a statue. A tiny bird pops out of the leaves. It took one way, then the other, then right at me. I can't help it. I get that huge smile just like Eva's. Look! I yell. Ah yes! says Grandma. I saw a wobbler. I sing as he flies away. Oh, that's a wobbler. And that's the end of the story. And this is it. Sometimes an ordinary walk can become something magical. Tag along with Ruby as she discovers that even big cities have a wild side. So that's the end of the story. Keep reading and keep growing. Love you guys. See you.